with Duik. I'm going to explain to you how Duik works so that you'll understand how Explainer works because Explainer is preset characters created in Duik. All right. So basically, I separated out. I'll put this here so it's easier on your eyes. You know, the head. I gave extra neck so that when the head moves back and forth, it's not disconnected from the body. And then, you know, the top of the arm, the forearm, and then the hand. And I just grabbed this character from the internet. Um, I painted out the arm that's there, so that the body's full, because the arm's gonna be over top of it. And uh, I just copied that arm that I made and put it behind the body. And you're gonna see what's funny is, uh, I put the, the skirt as the hips, the arm, you can see it's swinging through here because I don't have this shape completed with that. There's a little bit of a gap there. So you'll notice that when we do it. Uh, and then the legs, I just did the same thing. Top of the leg, bottom of the leg, and then the foot. And I did that sloppy because the dress is gonna be over it. You know what I mean? So I broke down each part the way the human body moves. And then this is when you would run Duik after you import the character. So I broke this up step by step for you. So I can show you each point of the way. I went file, import file to get that Photoshop I just showed you. And that's right here. But I only clicked once. And I went down here to composition, retain layer sizes. Okay. And then I clicked import. And the reason I did it that way is because it brought in each piece as a layer and then a pre-comp of it. So I'll show you what that looks like real fast. So I go file, import file, click here. Then I go to composition, layers, I hit import. And then editable layer styles and it made a composition for it right there. See, and there they all are. All right, so I'm gonna close that. So my first step was I brought in the artwork like you just saw. Then I ran Duik by going File Scripts, Run Script, and I chose where Duik is. So that'd be here. And I ran Duik. If you've already run Duik or Explainer video, you can then just go File, Scripts, Open Recent, and there's your recent scripts like Saber, Orb, they'd be there. So what Duik does is the first thing I did was I hit Rigging right here, right? And then I went to Rigging right here and I choose Humanoid, right? So, first, let me go back to that untouched one. So here's my untouched character. I went rigging, rigging, humanoid. And you give it a moment to run, and you see here is the humanoid rig that I'm gonna apply to this character, all right? And what I did was I went and I grabbed each piece and I lined it up with where I want the joints to be. And I then put that structure with that part, like the structure for the head over the head in my composition panel. I mean, in the timeline. So that would look like, I just move them, okay? Like that. And I lined them up where I wanted them to be. Like, you know, the top of the head at the top of the head bottom of the head down there. It's the finished piece. They're lining up properly. And I'm going to give you this file to look at because you've already got the artwork. So I lined up all my connectors like you see there. Top and bottom where I want the neck, the top of the arm, the bottom of the arm. And so like when I was working on the bottom of the arm, I would hide the top part of the arm so I could see where the bottom of the arm met and line the structure up properly. 
to understand that part. So for like the tip of the hand, that would line up at the tip of the hand, and then hide the forearm and you know where the hand meets. You would just line all those up. And it helps to name your layers the way that they're gonna be named with Duik. Like left arm, you know, right arm, so you know which one's which. So I just put each structure above what is going to be parented to it. The structure is already rigged. The things that I want to move with it. Now, like I said, I'm going in briefly here so you understand how the rig works. This is already done in explainer video, all right? So I'm just giving you a loose understanding of it. So we brought in our character, then we opened Duik, we put in the humanoid rig, and we lined up the points with the structure of the rig. So for like the head, I want the head to follow my head structure. So I parented by using my pick whip, the artwork for the head to the head structure, all right? And I did that for everything. Like my forearm is parented to this part of the arm, well, the structure. This is parented to that, that's parented to that. That's why I moved my layers so I could just quickly and easily parent the artwork to the part of the structure it needs to be, all right? So I did that for everything. Then the next step was I selected all of my structure. Let's see if this is the quick way of doing it. Yeah. So right here you could select structures right there. And then I went to auto rig right here. I click that. And what that's going to do, I'm going to click it and show you. All right. So the next step, you close all these panels right there. That's all I did. So now we've got structure. The artwork is parented to the structure. And what that auto rig did was it created controllers, okay? So we've now got controllers, which are labeled C, structure, which is the rig, and then the artwork parented to the structure. That was the second step. The third step, I just hid, I shied. Here's your shy enable. So when it's not enabled, you click on the layers you want to shy, like this, and then you shy enable. So I hid shy enabled all of the artwork and the structure, so you're only seeing the controllers now, okay? Then the next step, so here's the way it looks when you bring in your, you've got just your controllers. I enlarged and moved my controllers. And to do that, you click on the controller and you're in your effects controls at this point. And it's the icon. You can move it wherever you want, enlarge it however big you want, and then color code it, All right? Here's why color coding is important. My left side, I made green. My right side, I made red. So I can quickly look and be like, this is the hand for this side, that's the foot for this side. And this is another side of the body, okay? So watch what's gonna happen now. So we brought in our artwork, we went rig, humanoid, and then we lined up everything and we parented the artwork to the structure. Then we selected all the structure, hit auto rig, and that created controllers. Then we hid everything except for the controllers and we moved the controllers to where we can activate them. So here's what's gonna happen. If I go and select the head and hit R for rotate. Okay. And then you could also, if you wanted, you could grab the controller and move it. So you see by moving that, the whole arm is following the way that it would. Okay. I'm explaining this process to you so that this is already done with explainer video. I'm just showing you how it's broken down so you'll know how to manage things when you're an explainer. 
That's why I'm giving a loose overview of this, okay? So that would be position. Uh, let's see what happens if I rotate that. See how the hand is rotating? And just for fun, what I did was I added a walk cycle. Now, I did that by... I don't know if this step is necessary, but I selected all of my controllers. And I went sequence, 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 so I could always go back and undo something, you know what I mean? So, right here. So that was where all the rigging was. And then here you've got all these great presets that are built in. And they're well worth playing around with and looking deeper into Duik. But I chose walk cycle here. So I selected all my controllers and I went over to this icon and chose walk cycle. And it'll take a moment for that to do it. And if you hit your space bar, you'll see the walk cycle start going. So this next sequence that I made was I messed around with it, like the strength of the walk cycle, the weight. So see, mine's a lot sloppier and looser. And so weight, you could make the person have more weight or be bouncier. Like they're skipping along. The energy is how fast they're moving. Dancing. So there's two different types. So that was under walk cycle. Dancing is more that like Mickey Mouse double step bobble to it. And you could change the amount in the arm swing. From the shoulder and... See? So it's playing around with different parts. Like here's your walk cycle right here. It's its own controller. So you're only using that at that point. I selected that and you know, like I said, there you could change the weight, the energy. See, it's tamer now. And then the more energy you got, more wild it's going to be and like i said if there was another piece of artwork that wouldn't be happening but i just did this real quick so you could see what's going on and then softness see it's a lot less skeletal at that point So you could have someone be bobble-headed or a little bit more stiff. So that's the process of Duik. Separate out your artwork and just make sure that wherever you remove from, like I had to take the arm off, I just painted over it, and then I separated out the different parts of the arm. So you have your character, you could do it in Photoshop, Illustrator, whatever you're comfortable with. But just think about all the different pieces. Then, you know, you bring it into Duik, and you go to your rigging, humanoid, and line up all the pieces. And then you have to parent the artwork to those different parts of the structure. Then you select your structure, and you choose Auto Rig. And that's what gives you the controllers. Then you hide your artwork in your structure, that's all parented, and you work with just your controllers. Move the controllers to wherever you want them, or you can create the walk cycle by clicking here and choosing walk cycle. At that point, you've only got your walk cycle controller to worry about for the walk cycle, but otherwise, you can do any motion you want with your rig this way. That's the way you would mess around with Duik. That's the understanding of it. So now I'm going to open up explainer video.